Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. It's all getting a bit de deja vu at the minute, really, because it seems like I start every other episode in, in here, but um, come on, Merlin, just stop it. Come in with me. Arthur's rested for about a day since you last saw him. Basically just slept for ages and then just ha ha sat around doing whatever. Um, reading some books, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, tomatoes. I need those because they make... Detect life potions! I just used a whole bunch of those while I was sneaking around in the sewers. So anyway, what we're going to be doing is going out and delivering some packages during the day. And while we're doing that, I'm going to be visiting various fences and trying to sell all of this crap that I stole the other night. Basically, because my inventory is full of it. Completely, almost, 207 out of 225. So I'm carrying lots of rubbish around with me in a minute. So I'm going to head over to see Norn to sell him a few bits. And, um, actually, is Hector around? I bet he isn't. How much do you want to bet? Yeah. I figured. <sighs> never here. Never ever here. Never here at all. I mean, I'm sure, surely he is. I just don't know what time of day it is that he's actually supposed to be around. Anyway. So. That was the jobs for today. And then tonight. I. Assuming I can get rid of this stuff. If I can't, then sod it. We won't do anything. Probably not. Anyway. Um, but what is it? If I actually, I need to go talk to Inklaw because I reckon I could turn her into a fence, no problem. Like there's no, there's not even any doubt in my mind that Inklaw will buy stolen stuff off me. I just need to give it a bribe. But because uh, I've got loads of books, I could sell. Ah, I can see. Good so. day. Perhaps you need new armor, a weapon. I have a large selection of both. Right, my friend. You do not have a lot of gold. That is a shame. However, I think I wanted to give you... The steel jink blades. No, I, I don't have a lot of gold either, though, do I? Um, I was going to sell that to you and buy it back off you. Let's see how much it's worth to start with, though. It's not too expensive, well, although he'll put a mark up on it. new armor. A weapon. Unfortunately. I so I'll study that. I'll buy it back off you. And with the 273 gold you've got, I'll start shifting some of this stuff. Like, I don't need the silver plate, for heaven's sake. Um, saw everything by weight. Uh, I don't need this fine steel dagger. This wood shield don't really need either. How much is that way for? Uh, yeah, I tell you what, I'll get rid of. That's not wolf pelt. Don't need that. Um, yeah, get rid of this wooden That's shield. That's a good deal. You've got fifteen gold left. So I can get ten off you for that ruby. And yeah, that's more or less it, really. Okay. <laughs> that's Thank you. all we can get out of Norn, unfortunately. Unless... I hope I could... Do you want to repair anything repair for me? A... Uh, five gold. Never mind then. I thought I could... Goodbye. That might cost me a bit more. Anyway, so we've we've exchanged some of our stuff. So that's okay. I think we'll go talk to Inklaw next, actually. Uh, do, 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 do. Assuming she's in. She better, bloody better be. Weaponsmith, yeah, he's no longer in business, unfortunately. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Very lovely day. Oh, that, although that distant haze is extremely blue. My goodness. This is a very colourful game, I will say that much.
Like it's distractingly blue how how blue those mountains are, but whatever. I don't think so. Um You've got my Where's here i've gone straight past it, haven't i oh my acrobatics is not bad is it look how high i can jump now jump up onto roofs and everything no problem all right there you are in claw yeah 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 we'll see admiration jokes i think is what she likes Told Meg me that's pretty good. No, you can't scare me. That wasn't very good. You're a big fat liar. Mm. You can't scare me. You're pathetic. Not bad. What a you you're a big fat liar. That won't be enough, so how oh, nice. Well that all right, go. I that will it. be. Looking for some reading material. Right. You've yeah, I figured case. as much. Here we go. So I got four copies of this. Ah, fine trans. I got apparently even though it's apparently not stolen, but whatever. Got these. Is there a shortcut? Thank you. Oh god, no. Looking for some reading Also, oh, I am haggling with you, fair enough. Um I don't know if there was like a shortcut key I could use or something. But I guess not. I'm just going to do this every single time. You got it. Uh, and then we've got this stuff. Gunning touch. Do you want? See, open easy lock. Do you want? Just in case of it's a case of an emergency. Um, a soul trap. I'm not really sure I need that. That's fine. Don't really need that either. And there's this crap. I should have left that back in my um my house, but never mind. And you'll buy these, will you? Okay. Oh, take that you got a pearl great off me. deal there. Well, in that case, it's all level common, it's all level petty. Now, I do want greater. That's a bit better. I do want to do some enchanting once I've saved up enough money to do it. It's part of the reason why I keep doing all these robberies, because I want to save up to do some enchanting. Because I want some feather enchantments and stuff. Um, however... Um, I want a decent soul gem to enchant my stuff with in the first place. So a grand soul gem with a greater soul, that's okay, I guess. That's probably the best I can hope for, because I'm certainly not going to go out there trapping any grand souls myself. Um, but, yeah, like these empty ones, honestly. You're trying to... Really? Okay, fine. I... And that's all of your gold. Okay, well, anyway. Um... Another satisfied customer. So a couple of grand ones with greater so souls in is not bad. And that's probably what I'll use to put the feather enchantments on my stuff. Now, someone inevitably will be like, oh, but Dave, you should do fortify strength, not feather enchantments. Um, that's my snarky comment of voice, by the way. I hope you like it. Um, <laughs> um, I, um... Oh, hello, Puny Anchors. Beautiful, isn't she? What? The Maria Lane. I don't care. Damn fine ship. I hate ships. Damn fine crew. I hate sailors too. So believe me when I tell you we don't like it when people snoop around in our affairs. You get near that ship and my men will run you through. I have no intentions of getting anywhere near your ship. You batshit crazy woman. Ah, what was I saying? Anyway. Um, something about enchantments, I, I imagine. Ah, that re leads me on to another point, actually. Uh, although I've, I've lost my original train of thought, but that leads me on to another point, which is... Oh, yeah, I know, it was about... some. Someone was saying... Someone will say, for sure. I, I, I can almost guarantee it. Um, someone will end up saying, oh, you should use Fortify Strength, not Feather. 
I'm, that I'm not using Fortify Strength, and I am going to use Feather for a very specific reason, and that specific reason is that if I do Fortify Strength, it will turn Arthur into the Incredible Hulk. Like, he'll just whack things and they will die instantly, and it will be ridiculous. I don't want to turn Arthur into this epic fighter who can kill gods, because he's got a ring equipped that fortifies his strength, which the whole point of which was to actually just give him more carrying capacity. So I'm going with Feather for a very specific reason, even though, yes, Fortify Strength is probably more efficient or something. I'm going with Feather instead because I don't want to accidentally buff Arthur into an incredible fighter. Because that's not what he is. So I'm sorry if it annoys your OCD or whatever that I'm not doing Fortify Strength instead, but it's for a pretty specific role-playing reason, and that reason is I don't want to turn Arthur into Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um... So, anyway, on the subject of sigil stones, someone did point out in the comments that I could go here, and Scary Pointy Hat Man would probably be able to tell us what sigil stones are and, and, and the we, uh, what you can do with them. I swear, every time I come here, in here, something falls off that desk. How goes it? Oh God, a possessed doll. That's freaking scary. Um. So yeah. May I interest what you, you in some of my fine anyway? wares? Um, a whole bunch of stuff. It's worth an in insane amount of gold. That's ridiculous. You do sell more hats, though, apparently. Um, he sells skooma? Seriously? You know what? If he sells skooma, he must be a bit fishy. When it comes to... He sells black soul gems and all. Um, actually, I need a couple of repair hammers. Uh, let's get three. I wonder... Thank you. Yes? Oh, that's a max. I can't even, like... Wow, all right. Um, that's a bit crap. Every... Every, every I wonder. Thank, thank, thank. Come and on, fucking hell, that was expensive. Only quality goods. Will you now? He will buy my. Okay. You? Mr. Sarmain. Turns out he's actually a bit of a crook himself, which is fair enough. We were worried about asking him uh, to sell stolen stuff too, because he might go. He might go a bit mad and turn us into a toad or something. But actually. After having noticed that he's actually stocking skooma, um, I think it's, it, yeah, it's, as, as you can see, it's, it's blatantly obvious that he'll, he'll take all sorts of nonsense from us. So, on that note, I'm going to sell him this. Oh, actually, I'll haggle first. There we go. I'll sell him this glass longsword. And this thing, and that staff as well. And that's apparently not, doesn't count as stolen. That's weird. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Oh, now he's got no gold left. Well, that's just from, 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 from. fantastic, isn't it? Thank oh, there aren't enough fences. There aren't enough fences. I don't. There's all this whole plan <coughs> of going north to Bruma after we rob the vaults here to sell our stuff to Ongar just isn't going to work, is it? Because we're going to get there and Ongar will have like 800 gold, and then I won't be able to get. I won't be able to sell even remote, a remotely large amount of my stuff. It's going to be a problem. I can already tell. Which means I'll be stuck with a load of stuff that will be really annoying to try and carry around with me all the time. I won't have a horse with saddlebags that I can use to carry my stuff either. Hmm... <sighs> It's starting. It's actually, honestly, starting to get a little bit tempting to go to Shaden Hall first and do the Thieves Guild job, and while I'm there, buy a horse. I'm honestly feeling tempted to do that because it would make life so much easier if I could just leave my horse on the night of the the, the grand heist. I could leave my horse just grazing on the riverbank or the, next to the lake up there, so I could swim over to there after having robbed everything. Stuff everything in the saddlebags and then ride off north of the Bruma. 
The thing is, if I go to Shaden Hall, I'll be really, really tempted to stick around and rob the place too. <laughs> so, ah! Damn me for being so sticky fingered. Greetings, Breton. Oh, dude. This guy gets to restock, restocks his money quite frequently on the nice, on the nice side, on the on the good side, on the on the bright side. We got there in the end. Right. Um. So I think. No, no, no. That one's not stolen. So I'll just sell it to a regular merchant. Like that. Oh, or it is. It's just been weird. Okay. Gonna sell this by how much it weighs, honestly. Oh god. These guys keep running out of money. And I keep not noticing. I just gave away one of these robes practically for free. Pretty much for free, actually, didn't I? Ah, oh, god damn it, that was stupid of me. Ugh. Where's my last auto save? I can't. I can't abide that. That, that's that was an appalling waste of money. I can't do that. That's, that's just. Ugh, I need to really pay attention to that. I was looking at the weight and not the value. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? Um. Yeah. Sort by weight again. But don't sell those. Right, so uh, these, these shoes, and this you shirt, and these stupid shoes that belong to Hieronym Hieronymus Lex, if I recall. <laughs> You've got and these bits of jewelry. I should really hang on to one of these at some point, like an amulet or something, so I can use it to make a feather amulet or something. That would probably be a good idea. This brandy I don't need. I don't need this sheep's milk either, or this perfume. Um, anything I don't need, need here? This poison of clumsiness I certainly don't need. I've got no. I've, <laughs> I'm quite clumsy enough as it is, thank you very much. Um, snake poison? No, definitely want to keep that. Snake poison is really good. <laughs> Although... Although, having said that, my damage health poisons are, are, are about as good. They just don't, they, they last for one second less at the minute, but health, five points for 19 seconds. This is five points for 20. It's not bad, you know. My poisons are getting quite lethal, which is good because I like sticking people with poison and then running away. <laughs> um, Shadow Wolf, mate. Ooh. Yeah, and this I'm gonna oh, hang on to all of these alchemical ingredients and stuff. Ah, soul gems, right. Um, you can take this greater one off my hands. That seems a fair. And another one. Well, it's you with twenty six, so I'll give you both these coins. Right. Okay. Cleaned you out pretty much. Well, you go sell that stuff off to your 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 bidders or whatever. Thank you for your patronage. And come back tomorrow with even more money for me. You too. All right, now let's go see Mr. Gil. Uh, let's not go see Mr. Goldhorn. Actually, that was that was an insanely high jump. What the hell? What what happened there? I know my acrobatics is pretty good, but I think it's it's like a little ramp. Yeah, I think it's because the dog got in the way, and there's a little, this little ramp here. When you run up this way, look. Oh, never mind. Anyway, it's just I've been playing Morrowind recently, and like jumping and running in Morrowind is so tiny and so and so slow. By comparison, I'm I'm slightly. Greetings you know. to you. Lorden in the Talos Plaza district. Works in the Imperial Service Government building. Okay. Um I'm just a little bit taken aback by the fact that I can basically jump like I'm on the moon in this game. <laughs> by comparison. What's my acrobatic skill? Out of curiosity. 32. So it's not even that high. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. 
my ears. Wait, where's that orc? What is it, citizen? Oh my god, the jumps. Greetings. If we get my acrobatics yes. up to like 50. I'm gonna be able to like jump onto well, a building then. from the ground floor. Yeah, yeah, Can I yeah. interest you in some of my And there's the orcs in the shop down the down there on the other side of the corridor too. I must feel about. Um the Imperial City, I think, is going to remain my one-stop shop for selling still and stuff for sh in, in, the, in the future. I think that's where it's always going to be, just because the most guys here. most The most the most fences are here, you know? Um, right. Get rid of two of those? Yep, that's most of his gold gone. One. Lovely. I have so we're piling up the cash slowly but surely here. We got four grand on us now. I don't think I've got anything in the bank anymore, have I? Because I think I withdrew it all. But I'm not sure. I might have to go check. If I have Hello got something there. in there, I should probably Hello put there. it in there. I mean, if I haven't got anything in there, I should probably put some in there. I'm really struggling formulating my thoughts today for some reason. I don't really know why, but what I'm thinking and what I'm saying is not really ma matching up. Uh, entirely. I mean, I nearly said messing up as well there. But again, exact a freaking example. I, I can't... To lighten your load, I'm struggling your to communicate. <sighs> I should just shut up. I should just go away and come back tomorrow and carry on recording then. Struggling to communicate today, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why. Anyway. You've got 700 gold. And I've got stuff I could sell you. I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm never going to get the full value of a lot of the really expensive things I steal. I think I just want to sell off more bloody soul gems, frankly. You got a great have a ridiculous amount of them. That's a fair deal. Uh that was like 120. So that's fine. Come back and see me again. Take we'll care. do. I have potions and everything you need. I wonder if I can convince you to buy soul and stuff off me, but I don't know what you'd buy. I'm, I'm pretty sure you'd only buy like alchemical ingredients and food and stuff, so probably a bit pointless. Uh, also, why am I going this way? I need to go to the Talus Plaza. Oh, you fool! They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the, in land. the land of the old man. Murder. Find some new things to talk about. Hello. Dreadfully boring, you know. Hello. Hello again, yes. Right. Um, which way? I think it's this way. I'm listening. What? What? Did you what me? I should probably set this my active quest, shouldn't I? So this Baron von Zarov. I th you know what? I think that's a side quest that takes place in, in Skingrad, if I recall. It's added by Better Cities. So I don't know how on earth I picked that up in the Imperial City, but yeah. Anyway. Um, oh, okay. He's not actually in the Talos Plaza right now, it would seem. Or is he? Ah, no, he is. He's at work. Okay, here we go. Really? During the day, it's locked? What? Well, I'm not waiting around all day. Actually, you know what? I can wait around all day, to be fair. I can just bug bugger off to the market district and go do stuff there. Do I have anything to do in the market district? I mean, I could do, do a bit of shopping, I suppose. Um. Oh, I should probably do something with these, shouldn't I? Let's say that we did this back when we were at the shop. The enchanting shop. 
um, you know, on the waterfront, because I totally forgot about this. But yeah, the, the guy, but the reason I went in there for, in the first place is because I wanted the guy to show me what sigil stones were and what I could do with them. So let's see. Frost damage, 10 points on strike, 5 points on strike. So let's go with the subjacent one. And I'm going to put that on my fine steel mace. I call it the Mace of Frost because, oh, so. It's, it's, I'm so, I'm so, you know, um, original when it comes to my naming things. Um, right, I call the snowball actually. <laughs> there you go, that's something slightly better. Um, it's kind of a ball, snowball on a stick with spiky bits. Um, and I'll do frost damage 10 points on strike, so that's nice. So I've, got a, I've now got a magic weapon as well, which is nice when it comes to ghosts and things. Although ghosts resist frost damage, but hey. Um, so that's good, I guess. Not bad. So that's cool. Someone's going to argue I should have done the shield thing instead, but whatever. Don't care. I wanted a magic weapon, so... Hmm, I haven't noticed this little bit here before. It's like a beer garden type thing. Yeah, overgrown, but anyway. Um What is it, citizen? To the Elven Gardens district. And then onwards to to the to the market district. Yes. Discounts. Don't be the last to read today. What's this about? What is it, citizen? Do find some spells, actually. I've heard the uh, the NPCs nattering on about spells. I could possibly do with something like that. Honestly, I'm just sort of. You know what? I think I'm will we'll do tonight. In addition to pot po to possibly the aristocratic district, I think I'm gonna try and rob the jeweler's store again because I want his feather ring that he's got feather and chameleon ring i think i really do want that so that might be where we get started honestly uh but yeah for now though do 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 edgar's discount spells I'm, I'm, I'm itching to get this get this vault heist done, you know. Well met. Starting to get a little bit um, stir crazy here in the Imperial City now. I mean, there's a lot to see and do here, but I, I just I don't know, man. I've seen a lot of it. I got a house now, and you know, it's just I, I want to get out there and do do other stuff. We spent twenty something episodes in this city now, and I, I want to go go do more things. Um, so Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Ah, mysticism. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's just occurred to me, actually, if I want to enchant my own stuff, I need to be able to cast the spell myself, don't I? Just for it to begin with. And only then can you add it as an enchanting effect. So that's actually a pain in the dick. Because I don't know how to cast a, a feather spell. There's this. Eased burden, but it requires alteration 25. <sighs> oh, shit. Should I get that? And then... Because what I could do is I could just quickly, like mod av alteration 25 in the console to give myself alteration 25 which would allow me to because the way i see it the enchantress lady she's she, you're paying her a thousand gold so that she can enchant something for you um you know so the fact that i can't cast feather is besides the point i'm, I'm getting her to do it for me so if i just cheekily console my alteration up to 25 so that I can pay her a grand, then pay her even more to get the, 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 the amulet or whatever enchanted with feather. And then after I've done that, I could I could just mod mod out my 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 alteration back down to whatever it was previously. Because otherwise there's no way I can actually do it. I can't actually put a feather enchantment on on an amulet because unless I get access to a feather spell that I can actually cast. And since you can't go spell making in this game outside of the Arcane University, then I, I can't just make a feather spell that I can cast. 
So, yeah. I think I might have to do that, to be honest. Yeah, I think I will. Mm. Uh, yeah, this whole carrying capacity thing is a real problem, to be honest with you. This is where, this is, again, where I'm like, I really wish I had a horse with saddlebags. Because then I could be like, I could, I could rob the bank and then quickly, with all my bags of gold from the bank, <laughs> I could, I could go run out through the sewers, uh, get out there to my horse, put all the bags of gold on the horse, then head back in and then do the market vault. It'd, take, it'd be a bit of a, a bit of a push to get that all done in one night, but, you know, just having a horse with saddlebags would make my life so much damn easier. But I don't have one, so I'm gonna haggle with you. And I'm gonna buy this. Another satisfied customer. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. What if I say I can sell him? Wait, what? Edgar buys stolen stuff. You filthy little fence! I had no idea. What's his disposition towards me? His disposition is ridiculously high. And yeah, Mr. Discount Spells, you don't want good, you want cheap. It actually makes sense now. I had no idea, Edgar. Well, yes, I why yes, I will, but I will sell you this robe of protection for 1,500. <laughs> Tell your friends about me. I might have to just Take forget care. to get Edgar's vault key when we go get all the vault keys. Because if I rob him, he'll be quite annoyed. Because he'll know it's me. <laughs> he'll know it's me now because I've sold stolen stuff to him. He knows. He knows I'm a thief. Ah. If he wakes up to find his vault key missing, he's going to put two and two together very quickly indeed, right? I guess we're not robbing Edgar's, um, Edgar's section of the vault, are we? Hmm. That's quite amusing. Why was his disposition so damn high anyway? Like, I, I don't think I bribed him or anything, so... Huh, weird. Anyway. Oh, mind you, he is a Breton, and I'm a Breton. Which gives you better disposition if you're the same race as the other character generally in this game, doesn't it? So there's that. Plus, I reckon I've probably talked him up before. I would, because I'd, I was, yeah, hmm. it's a bit of a mystery because I don't remember bribing that guy. Normally, I can't get this position that high without bribery. So, oh, that's the other thing. He's one of the merchants. He's one of the merchants who I did the Thoranir quest for. So that might, might also be why he really likes me. Ooh. Ooh. What else have I got to sell here? I'm really curious now. I'm wondering if he might not be the only merchant that buys stolen shit. And they all were ragging on Thorin here for, for, for selling cheap merchandise from fishy sources, and they're just as bad! Why am I not surprised? Um... Uh, do you reckon Jensen by stolen stuff? That would be funny. I'm just gonna pop in. See anything? You yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I do. Any. Oh, bedroll! I need, I need to buy a bedroll. I'm glad I came in here because otherwise I, I would have completely forgotten that I need to buy a bedroll. Um, I don't suppose you buy. Nah. My disposition's only 32 anyway, crikey. Did that quest for and it's only, only it's only 32, like what? Uh right, I will take the cheapest one, I suppose. Wait, hang on a minute though, you've got weight, haven't you? So that to consider as well. Tents? Oh my god, there's all sorts of stuff. Um I'll take whatever your your lightest one is then, I guess. Arena fan bedroll. Somehow I think not. Um, I guess I'll take this, this one. You drive a hard bargain. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Can I just it's test that out in here. That's all right with you. Business with you. Oh crikey. Uh, what? Well, okay. That's a neat trick, but I'm not very impressed. Mm. 
not not the most See, useful bedroll I've ever I'll seen. If I'm completely honest with you, maybe I'll right try a different price. one. How about this? It's been a pleasure doing business. If you say so. With you. Okay, it has a tendency to just sort of explode outwards. That's a very fancy looking bedroll. My goodness, look at that. But uh, it's almost, it almost feels a bit too fancy for Arthur. But I think the main concern is actually the fact that it weighs a lot less than the other ones. So fancy or not, I'm going to take it. Oh, hello. Right, how do I pick it up? I just crouch and pick it up. Okay, cool. Nice. We have a bedroll now. And I'll probably need that if I'm going to go out traveling. So I often to get a tent as well. But The bedroll is really just an emergency measure. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not planning to stay in the woods. If I can help it, certainly Arthur's not anyway. Perish the thought and all that. Um, but the bedroll's just there for in case he really, really, for some reason, he does get trapped in a cave somewhere and has to sleep or whatever. So that's why I'm buying that. If I had a, if I, again, if I had a horse with saddlebags, I might consider getting a tent. But I don't, so I'm not. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go to the bank. Did I put anything in the safety deposit box in the end. I can't remember, you know. I'll have to go down and check. There's anything important in there. Welcome to yes, yes, yes. Account balance. I have six gold in my account. That must have been my interest from before. All right, well, deposit gold. Um. Put 3,000 in there. How about that? Which leaves me with two. 2.8 grand on me. Welcome to uh, deposit chest? You wish to exit? Yes, I do. Everyone Do you still be opening door now? Go. Speak. Oh, of course. How could I forget? <laughs> ah, the most valuable pair of trousers in all of Zertal. Um... I'm never going to get, it makes me really sad, but I'm never going to get 14,500 gold for these. Not even close. But I will take them. Try and remember to sell them to someone next time I find a fence with lots of gold. Um, I, I'd be happy to get like like 1,200 for them or something like that, to be honest with you. This is, this, is, this is the thing about being a thief. You're never going to get the true value. You just ain't. I mean, to be honest with you, even if you're not a bloody thief, you're not going to get the, 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 the full value, are you? If I'd got those off a bandit in a cave, I still wouldn't get any more money for them. Um, yes, yeah, red diamond jewelry. Didn't even come close to rubbing everything in this place, did I? Yes. This My better be good. is awful with me. It's like he knows. Like he knows. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Question is, he still has it for sale. Okay, it's still here then. Yeah, feather 100 points, chameleon 25 points. What if I sneak in security? Though it does drain strength 10 points, which will then lower my carrying capacity as well. So it's, it's not ideal, but it's still pretty good, considering, especially considering the sneak security and chameleon bonuses as well. So I do want that. I do definitely want that. I might nick a nice amulet to enchant as well while I'm at it. Farewell. Hmm. So what else now? Oriel's books. Yeah. Get your black Pretty good in there. Here. No, I don't want the black horse courier. Thank you. Look at you with your fancy trousers. This grocery shop. Um, might have bread in here that I can use to make life things with. Whoa, crikey, look at all this. That's actually quite impressive, you know. Game froze there for a second. I don't know why. I'm waiting. A little food and drink will do you some good. Off you got. Bread loaves. Uh, what else? Feather, black seeds, yep. I want those. At any price. 
Not so worried about restore health at the minute. If, 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 if I've even got to use restore health potions, it's because I'm doing something incredibly wrong. Oranges, yeah. Potato, yes. Rat meat, yeah. That's a good deal. Some of our light caps, yeah. Sweet cakes. And some tomatoes as well. Excellent. Thank you. Come again. Oh well, you grumpy bastard. Enough talk. Right. Let's um since we've got nothing much else to do for now, I think we'll head into the Merchant's Inn and we'll wait around for a while, do our alchemy, and then when it becomes evening time again, we'll head out. Don't be the last to read today. Do, 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 do. about the other provinces? They say oh, Right. Oh, hello. Hello. A drunkard. How do you do? Friend of yours. Anyway, um Go ahead. Uh you know what I actually A little food and drink will do you some good. Might as well check if you've got some stuff too. I do there's never enough to take life potions, I swear. I want to be able to spam those whenever I'm out stealing stuff, honestly. Uh, p nine potatoes! Oh my goodness. Yes, I will take all nine of the potatoes. That's a lot of that's a lot of shields potions right there. And the sweet cake. Honestly, I will just I will just spam feather potions all the way to Bruma if I have to. All the way and I'm back, frankly. Marvelous. Uh, remove and flax seeds. No. Now, potatoes! And some of our light caps. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. Lovely. So we'll wait here for um, as many hours as it takes. I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, okay. It's about the time when all the merchants come in. So while we were waiting, we would have gotten changed a little bit. I like to think we're wearing a padded vest underneath the, the fur shirt um, or something. So I'm not literally just changing my shirt in the middle of the in the middle of the tavern or whatever, but uh, yeah, so. Are you all leaving? What the heck? Are you all leaving? Maybe they're all going home to sleep. Ugh. Right, tell you what, while they're all going home to sleep, I am going to head to the aristocratic district for well, some sneaky, sneaky thieving of cutlery and things, probably. Seems to be some of the most valuable stuff they've got, as it turns out.